Good morning dear students in this video we'll see about rating process in the last video we have started a fifth module of IBFS that was uh, credit rating and we have seen meaning and definition of credit rating and features or characteristics of credit rating see credit rating has a different process compared to any other financial process so in India credit rating is done mostly at the request of the borrower or issuer when any of the borrower who is taking any loan or the issuer who is going to provide a loan whether he is an institutional investor or a individual investor who is investing huge amount or a companies the credit rating will be done the borrower or issuer company requests the credit rating agency for assessing a ranking to proposed instruments right the borrowing company or issuing company may request the uh, credit rating agency to rate them and give them some uh, mark or give them some symbol to those instruments which they are going to trade so uh, instrument rating is very impos important and while doing this instrument rating by the credit rating agencies there is certain process involved so what is that process we will see that the first step is agreement so without agreement between the parties between the related parties there is no process involved process cannot start without agreement an agreement is entered into between rating agencies and the issuer company right the rating agency who are rating the company company's financial instruments or credit instruments they and the company will have an agreement it covers details about terms and conditions for doing the rating so what kind of rating they want on which instruments they want till what time they have to complete how much money they are going to charge right these all things will be contained in the agreement and that is the first important step for a process of credit rating once agreement is done then they will go for the second process that is appointment of analytical team the rating agencies assign the job to a team of experts the rating agency will be having so many experts they will bring an expert from the different different areas which they have been appointed and they will be given a task that you have to do a rating of this company those experts the team usually comprise of two analyst there will be two analyst in the uh, rating agencies who have expert knowledge in the relevant business areas and is responsible for carrying out reading right two analyst who are who have a lot of experience worked in the different companies different fields and they will be rating your company and they will be analyzing first your company for few days and then they will be rating your company then obtaining information the analytical team who have been appointed by the rating agencies two people minimum two people they required information from the client client or a company and studies company's financial position such as they study about your cash flow statement nature of the business basics of the comp the competition market share of your company operating efficiency arrangement market track cost uh, cost structure selling and distribution record uh, electricity labor uh, situation etc they will study each and every details in simple if we ca can call it as they will study your financial non financial details they will study your other related aspects of the company those both financial uh, the, the analyst they will study in detail so after getting all information they will gather all information first then meeting the officials then they do is that to obtain the clarification if they required any clarification they have collected all data analyst have collected all data they have collected data about your cash flows they have collected data about your profit they have collected data about your labor records they have collected data each and every things about your market share then if they need any further clarification further uh, knowledge clarification and understanding the client's business and analyst team the uh, the team the both the people or even more people involved in that they will visit and interact with the particular person with whom they want clarification right suppose they want clarification in the balance sheet or they want clarification in the particular cash flow the person who is responsible for it 
in the company they will go him go there and they will meet with him and they will get clarified their all doubts right clarification of the both financial non financial aspects will be done by the the credit rating agencies or the uh, analytical team then discussion about findings after clarifying all those things what they do is after completion of the study of facts and the their analy analysis by the analytical team the matter is placed before the internal committee which comprises of senior analyst and opinion about rating is taken right they will have a discussion the analytical team they will study they will get clarification and then everything will be gathered discussion will be made the analytical team will discuss with their seniors who will be very senior analytic so he will analyze again further then meeting of rating committee finding of internal committee are referred to the rating committee which generally comprise of few directors and is the final authority for raising rating so after getting this all the, there will be some different rating committee in rating agencies there will be some rating committee so these all records collected by the analyst will be given first of all to the senior analyst and senior analyst what he will do he will take this all data to the rating committee then rating committee they will be consisting of some directors and they will be consisting of final authority who will be assigning rating who will be giving a rating to the company or who will be giving rating to the client or issuer then communication of decision after giving the information to the final committee the final committee will communicate a decision the rating dis decided by the rating committee is communicated to the requested company the company uh, the rating decided by the final authority if whatever rating they have uh, given like maybe a b c that rating will be communicated to the company that this rating you have got then information to the public whatever rating they have got the rating company publishes the rating through reports and the press the company is going to publish that report in their website in the journals or in reports in press in magazines in newspapers so that particular rating with the uh, the rating agency's name will be published in the newspaper in the website etc for the publicity purpose then finally revision of rating on the issuer company has accepted the rating the rating agency is under an obligation to monitor the assigned rating the rating agency monitors all the rating during the life of the instrument till the life of that particular instrument it is a job of the rating company the agreement when if it is done for 5 years or 4 years each year they have to go on studying it and they should study about market share they should study about their profitability solvency position then they should go on changing the rate as and then when it is required